problem. So this time, it's solving for the selling price. Okay, so let us read the problem together. So we have John bought a badminton set at a wholesale price of 250 pesos and sold it with a 30% markup. What is the selling price? So first, we have to identify what are given in the problem. So, so may atong given. So we have the price of the badminton set which is 250 pesos okay and what else so we have the okay the rate mark up rate which is 30 percent okay so our given is what this is actually the cost right the original price of the badminton set so this is our cost 250 pesos because 30% is our markup rate or MR so 30% now what is ask ask in the problem so nangutana siya sa selling price or sa SP so what's the formula for solving the um, selling price so if you remember duha to no but here, atong pilion nga formula, ang katong magamit na to ang given sa ato ang problem. So, uh, atong gamit to, di ba, duha to, cost plus M. Sige, so, let's try to find out as I mas convenient, mas dali, or mas ayun gamit to, aning duha. Or this one, cost times 100% plus MR. So, like I said in the previous video, magdepende na on sa given sa problem. So, atong given are the following, the cost and the markup rate. So, asa may naadiha, asa nga formula nga naadiha ang cost o ang markup rate. Okay, so the second one, right? So, na uh, ang cost and the uh, markup rate. So, it's more convenient to use the second formula. So, let's try to solve using the formula SP is equal to C times 100% plus MR. So, our cost is 250 pesos, right? So, we'll multiply it by... 100% is a constant class. So, meaning, di din siya pwede ilisan o glaing number. Maura yun na siya. No? Okay. Then, plus the MR. Our MR or markup rate is 30%. Okay. So, 250 pesos times so, ato sa ni add ang number, uh, yes, ang numbers nga na sa parentheses. No? So, pila man ang 100% plus 30%. So, that is 130%. Okay. So, now we will multiply 250 by 130%. But we have to make it into a decimal first by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So, 1, 2. So, ato ang number will be 1.30. Okay, so we will multiply okay, 250 pesos okay, by 1.30. So, get a solve. Okay, this is 0, 0, ah, 0. Then, 0, 15. So, carry 1. Okay, and then 3 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Then, 0, 5, 2. So, 0, 0, 5. This is 12. Carry 1. Okay, 3. Then, we'll move to decimal places. 1, 2. So, the answer here for our selling price is 300. 
25 pesos. Okay, so from the original cost, which is 250, imo siyang gipatungan o 30%, ang imuhang baligya niya will be 325 pesos. Okay, so that's how you solve for the selling price. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, this time we will solve for the markup rate. Okay, so I have here another problem. IV bought shorts in wholesale store for 60 pesos each. She sold it with a markup of 9 pesos each. What is the markup rate? Okay, so first thing first things first, we have to find out what are given in the problem and what is asked in the problem. So, our given are the following, no? We have, okay, 60 pesos and, okay, 9 pesos. So, let's identify, unsa man ni siyang 60 pesos. So, mo ni ang presyo siyang pagpalit, di ba? Kada usa. So, this is our cost. Okay, so 60 pesos. Okay, how about 9 pesos? Unsa man ni siya? So, this is the mark up, ayang patong, no? Sa kada short. So, that is our mark up or M. So, 9 pesos. Now, what is asked in the problem? And so, may gi require or gi kinahanglan na to solve. So, we're going to solve for the mark up rate or the MR. So, how do we solve for the MR? So, ang formula ng atong gamiton is markup divided by the cost multiplied by 100%. So, this is the formula in getting the markup rate. So, let's solve. Sige. So, MR is equal to what is our markup? So, 9 pesos. Then, divided by the cost, which is, okay, 60 pesos. Then, multiply by 100. Again, 100 is a constant. So, you cannot replace it or change it to any other number. Okay. So, when we multiply whole numbers with fraction, we have to make the whole number into a fraction first by putting a denominator of 1. So, wala na nausab ang value sa number because ang 100 divided by 1 is still 100. Okay, so our answer here is, so 9 times 100% is, so 900, no? Over 60 times 1 is 60. Okay, by the way, pwede sa din yung i-change daan into decimal. No, pwede rasad. Okay? So, you will still arrive at the same answer. So, pila mani ang 60, uh, 900 divided by 60. So, 900 divided by 60. So, this is 1, then 60. So, we have 3, no? 30, mabilin. So, we'll bring down the 0. So, 300 divided by 60 is 5. Then, 5 times 60 is 300. So, subtract. So, 0 na. So, our answer is 15. Okay. But, since this is a rate, we have put to put the percent symbol. So, our markup rate is 15%. Okay. So, that's it. So, keep on practicing at home because practice makes perfect, no? And it's the best way to learn um, how to solve problems in math. Important ka ayo on drill or practice. So, keep practicing by solving problems on your own. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and continue learning.